Welcome to the Tribe Digital Marketing Series. I'm joined today by Cassie Koch, who is an engagement manager on the revenue operations team. Cassie, thank you for joining. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, Cassie, so I'd like to kick this off. Tell us a little bit about you specifically. What are you passionate about or most passionate about in the broad world of marketing? Yes, absolutely. I would say my biggest passion as it relates to marketing and generally what I do day to day is learning and training. Mm -hmm. And the reason that is a big passion of mine is because in our industry, specifically revenue operations, mm -hmm. but marketing as a whole as well, so much change happens day to day, month over month, year over year. And we're uniquely in a situation where we're constantly needing to evolve to keep up with that change and be able to leverage all of the change in a meaningful way for our organizations. Well, that's interesting. You know, that whole idea is so true. Think about what 15 years ago, would there have been a revenue ops job on a board somewhere? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or even five years ago. Yeah. Three years ago. Yeah. And you think of the, how quickly it's evolved into, you know, very well paid profession for a lot of people that, you know, like you and me, right? Like we got a job, someone threw a MA technology at us. I think you got thrown HubSpot, right? In your first gig, I got mm -hmm. thrown Marketo before I started here. And it's just like, all right, figure this out. Let's go. And now mm -hmm. it's like this, you know, full blown career. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So I love that the ability to help people understand like the core tenants, translate that to their business, and then constantly evolve and change and, and use those technologies effectively. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Love it. So what then should people be thinking about in a time where face-to-face -face meetings can't happen with customers and prospects, all of your big user conferences and trade shows have been canceled? Mm -hmm. What are some of the things that people should be thinking about from your standpoint, whether it's the organizational level or the, or the individuals within the organization? Yeah, for sure. I think um, it's really, I would challenge all of the individuals and, and even organizations to do exactly what you just mentioned, but for them. Hmm. So, um, you know, if you're an individual, then take this opportunity to do one of two things. Either, um, you know, potentially you find yourself with a little bit more time on your hands, mm -hmm. think through what is it that you've been very curious about and really take this opportunity to learn more about that, develop and hone that skill set. Um, on the flip side, maybe you find that you're even busier than ever. Well, how, how do you want to prioritize your time? Um, and that learning and training still fits, even if you're, you know, busy, the busiest person out there, right. because you need to prioritize what it is that you're going to be doing. And then how do you want to best leverage what you're prioritizing? You know, there hmm. could be specific strategies. It doesn't even have to be a technology, um, you know, anything that you feel like you could um, take yourself to the next level in understanding and being able to apply that. And that kind of brings us into, as an organization, make sure that you're empowering all of your individuals to really learn and grow, um, not only in this time we find ourselves right now, but really in the long run as well. well that's, a, that's a super powerful message i think you know the empowerment of the individual in a time mm -hmm. when people are scared right not, not everybody knows employment i think is one of the you know we've heard our ceo bang is bang that drum quite a bit since everything started to go down which is the ability to keep people employed may be the most powerful thing you can do right now mm -hmm. and taking that a step further and empowering them to prioritize their life, prioritize their learning and development, prioritize whatever it may be, I think is a super powerful message. Mm -hmm. I even yeah. think about it from my own standpoint. You know, I'm, I'm down two commutes, a, a drive in and a drive out. I'm, I'm down getting my kids ready for school in the morning. You know, there's, you know, you're freeing up a couple of hours in the day. Mm -hmm. And I would say in the last two weeks, I've probably produced 10 times more content myself than mm -hmm. I did the six weeks, eight weeks prior. So I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, for sure. I think it's an opportunity for everyone to really 
hone in and understand where they're spending their time and being very intentional about setting themselves up for success right now and in the future. Intentional. I just heard that word with Caleb. (laughs) Very cool. Well, Cassie, I appreciate your time. Have a great afternoon. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. You're welcome.